All honor and glory to him. I would like to start in a gratitude prayer because I believe in gratitude is how God starts moving. He starts moving in our lives. And tonight, not only God has changed me and opened inimaginable doors for my life, but he's going to change you and open doors and hearts that he has called your purpose and plant that seed that is necessary to align all of us in our righteous path. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your forgiveness, guidance, mercy, and unconditional love. Thank you in everything you have done in our lives for your faithfulness and what you continue to do in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and we all say amen. 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 I want to uh, talk to you tonight about the right perspective. When I began working on this message, um, I had a conversation with Papa Dios. Uh, we have a, a mutual language, we trilingual. We speak English, Spanish, and then Letty. <laughs> and um, I actually looked up and I said, ¿Qué tú quieres que yo diga? What do you want me to say? What do you want me to deliver? Um, going through all of the emotions and the emotions because, you know, wow. So. He's my Papa, Papa Dios, and um, I want to introduce him to you just as I speak to him because this is how we know we are in each other's presence. He's my father, literally. <laughs> I got him in everything, and our relationship is real. Sometimes I'm even disrespectful. I'm not perfect, <laughs> and he corrects me because he knows my heart, and I know we are one beat. This may sound to you a little bit crazy, and you may say, well, that girl is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. But you know what? This kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Pops, you want to join. <laughs> However, coming from having an absent biological father, God always made sure that in one way, shape, or form, I was provided with the protection, the love, the wisdom, genuine care through my entire life and until this day, today. This is exactly why perspective is everything. Because if you do not create this relationship, it's very hard to go through life with the appropriate discernment to walk with divine guidance. However, he is always present. But you have to have a healed heart and a, clean, uh, and a clean soul to allow him to do his work and to not reject his blessings. This is why we need to understand that perspective begins with our thoughts. Your life is going to follow your thoughts. And that is why you've got to get your mind in the right direction. The wrong direction will be to focus in our obstacles, maybe our addictions, or areas of lack in our lives. Instead, our attitude should be, I know God is still on the throne and he is in continual control of my life. He said his plans for me are for good, not for evil. And I declare that I'm not going to drag through this day defeated, complaining, focus on what's wrong. No, 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 no. I'm going to change my perspective and thank God that I am alive, that I have the opportunity to be free from anything that is holding me back. Surrender it to Jesus. I want to share with you a scripture, which is not only my favorite, but it also gave me and gives me comfort while I go through my roughest and toughest storms. <laughs> Um, and one of them was in the past, no longer here, right? <laughs> it is Psalm 23. Uh, Psalm 23 in the beginning says, the Lord is my shepherd. And it's such a comforting word. And I love it from beginning and, and to the end. However, my favorite part of it is the end. Because it says that I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dwell, you should live forever in him. 
through him. Imagine if you really truthfully just give up and surrender it all to him. What he can do in your life and he will do is unimaginable. Things that you thought that he was not going to do, he will do. But you just have to wait in his timing. This took me back when I surrendered my life to Christ. And I was in a very dark hole of fears, insecurities, where I couldn't take it anymore of the abuse, the struggles, the circumstances that were surrounding me. And it actually, it dragged me to suicide. But because I had the wrong perspective and I was attached to the wrong things, me, myself, and I allowed it. My goal with sharing this part of my life is to help you understand that we decide what we give power to. And the consequences we face of allowing the wrong thoughts live rent free in our minds and how they will impact our lives. It will take a toll on you and it will pull you in all kinds of directions. Where you're um, walking blind, alone in the dark, because you do not seek to know nor understand to see the light, which is God. This is why it is so important to create that awareness and acceptance of where you are and take the right steps into the truth of knowing who you are and who you belong to. To accept that God walks with you and it is time for you to walk with him. I am referring to the difference between the holy and the worldly. This choice to change your perspective is going to be your peace in that but God moment. That unconditional love, promotion, favor, light that others won't understand but God allows them to see. <laughs> and it creates the question, what are you doing differently? <laughs> you look like this, you look like that. They notice that change and unique brightness. But, but I'm sorry, <laughs> that, that you may not notice yet, but God's work is so magnificent that he allows others to see and thereafter, compliments, favor, promotion will come. And you will feel peace and you will look radiant. Family, this is God's work reflected in your life. This is the perfect moment for you to stand and share and say, I am in victory. That's the Holy Spirit working through me, corazón. And all you're doing is walking in line with the Holy Spirit and God. You see, if, we're, if you're constantly meditating on God's goodness, thinking about what he has done for you, and talking about what he has blessed you, then you're going to see God's favor in amazing ways. In fact, the scriptures tells us this is the right direction for our minds to go on. Even if you don't see it, what he has done for you, start counting your blessings and victories. You woke up, that's your greatest accomplishment. Give him the praise, honor, and glory. In Philippians 4, 8, Paul says, you'll do your best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not to curse. Know that you do not have to start big nor fast. No one is racing with you, newsflash, because we, he created us in such a unique way that our blessings will never pass us. They will always meet us in God's perfect timing. Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, There is an appointed time for everything, and there is a time for every event under heaven. 
Nurturing our minds with what God knows about us and becoming what he says we are is key to align in having the right perspective. What I mean is that there are steps to take in your journey to help God to show him that you're in tune with him. When negative thoughts come, take them captive and replace them with prayer, Bible verses, worship, our declarations, or listen to a podcast that is in alignment with where you're going. What we feed ourselves is what we become. Dare to try something new. Start walking in different environments. Even if it is by yourself, stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things will spark creativity and boost your confidence. Remember, you're never alone. He is in everything and he is everywhere. And when God is on your side, you will not fail. You will prevail. Let me ask you this question tonight. What have you been putting off doing? Maybe today is the day to step out and give it a try. For example, join a prayer group. Start, start small. Start joining church events. Attend Sunday church. Fridays, come to freedom. <laughs> Invest your time in becoming productive. God will point you in the right direction and assign who is to be of good for you. This is why knowing who you are in God is essential. Because when the wrong people come in your path, you'll have the power to see where it's heading and say, with grace, no thank you. And walk away from what no longer is you and doesn't serve you. Trust God to know and determine when it is time to let go of behaviors that no longer serve you. To get to where he is calling you to be. And when they come, you will have the right tools and the divine connections that will support you and cheer you on in the right path of your spiritual growth and salvation. Galatians 5, 1 says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. I want to share with you a major example that happened to me when I was in my journey and I decided that enough was enough and I was allow myself to choose a different path. I had to walk away from people, places, things that I knew were not healthy because not only thoughts can get in the middle, also people intentionally and unintentionally will try to interfere. There were relationships that I took a break from, and now we are aligned. And there were relationships that I no longer have because the damage was too much. And now God taught me better. He gave me the power of forgiveness and understanding that he will move you and step you in the places that he needs in alignment with your purpose. What I mean by this is what is healthy, what is worthy of you and what you are worthy of in his blessings. Pastor Joel says, it doesn't matter who likes you or doesn't like you. <laughs> All that matters is that God likes you. He accepts you and approves of you. In the mix of creating this change of perspective, you may listen to this encouragement. Some people are going to say, who are you trying to become? Some are going to say, oh, you think it better then? When all of this happens, this is when you have to stand firm, strong in the power of Christ and the Holy Ghost. And keep thriving because none of it defines you. Continue your work in becoming his masterpiece. Understand that it is this, that this is how the enemy tries to manifest, to test, and how determined you're in your faith 
and in this new path you're choosing to be a part of. We all have the power and we all have the choice to align ourselves in salvation and purpose. That is when you have to show up and show out the strongest in Jesus Christ. Here's the key. If we complain about where we are, we'll never get to where we want to be, nor, more important, where God has ordained us to be. The Bible says to be grateful. We all have things in our lives that can steal our joy and cause, cause us to be bitter. But if we're going to live a happy life, the foundation of having a grateful spirit is needed. Thessalonians 5.18 says, in everything, give thanks to God. It doesn't say for. It says in everything, give him thanks. Stepping into your divine calling with the right perspective is you coming out. In other words, we do not thank God for the trouble. Ah, uh -uh, he's ahead of the game. We thank him that we are coming out of the trouble. We thank him because we know hard times won't last. It's a season. That he is turning it around for good. Anytime you have the opportunity to complain, let that be a reminder to give God praise. Just turn it around and thank him because he is working in your life. Change your focus by staying in an attitude of gratitude. He is so merciful that all he asks you is to stay in gratitude. For all God has done in your life is key to living free. Two songs that I love and they inspire me the most is You Say by Lauren Daigle and God Will Turn It Around by John Reddick. Listen to those lyrics. Pay attention. Giving him praise precedes the victory. That is why, da that is why David in Psalm 34 said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. Notice how long, continually. All the time. Family, my prayer for each of one of us here today is for us to walk out of these doors with the right perspective. Focus on the good. Not on the things that we, not taking anything for granted. And recognizing that every day counts and is irreplaceable. Knowing that his love is free and generous. That when you wake up tomorrow, you may be transformed to the core by the power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to be your vessel. And thank you all for allowing me to share his message have a blessed and new perspective in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Thank you.